although the mounting public health crisis of substance misuse sadly extends behind bars, it by no means justifies the ultimately arbitrary penalties imposed on already vulnerable community members in our state facilities. Our investigation revealed that for eight months in 2019, failures by DOCS and its drug testing vendor, Microgenics Corporation, led to rampant false positive drug test results. In violation of proper state procurement practices, DOCS contracted with and began using Microgenics urine tests in January of 2019 to test for a variety of drugs, including the opioid buprenorphine. The manufacturer instructions clearly indicated that these tests are only designed to provide preliminary results and that any positive results should be verified using a second, more sensitive method. Instead of implementing this safeguard against false positive results prior to beginning use of the testing program, the supervisor of the testing program from DOCS, in collaboration with the sales representative from Microgenics, promulgated policies that did not require confirmation. And this was done without proper legal or scientific review. As soon as DOCS began using the Microgenics test, they saw a spike in positive tests. Our review of internal research documents from Microgenics later revealed that the presence of over-the-counter of over medications, including, for example, an antacid or even a natural sweetener used as a sugar substitute, could potentially produce false positives, all of which would have been revealed by a proper, more sensitive confirmatory test. Even after DOCS received a significant number of complaints of false positives, including from long incarcerated individuals who had never before tested positive for illegal drugs. Docs took no steps to seek outside confirmation of the test results and instead used what should properly have been only considered preliminary results as the basis to punish hundreds of incarcerated New Yorkers. The sanctions imposed included solitary confinement, lengthened sentences, delayed parole hearings, revoked family visitation, and other punishments. More than 1,600 incarcerated people were punished, including 140 who were subjected to solitary confinement. <laughs> 